like for this match, we are going back into, I believe, uh, winners. Wait, are we... we are going to are we losers with... top eight. Losers top eight. Uh, Last time and... at AC cards. All right. Sorry, I've... I forgot which match we were doing this time. <laughs> no worries. I'm like, I know AZ cards is here, but I don't know. But. All right, so we're seeing two zoners, Gino and Don Don Yoku. Not a particular yeah. matchup that we usually see here. Yeah, very very interesting matchup. Love watching both these characters. Oh, slamming them out there. Okay, see very, a lot of very patient neutral here. Az just trying to get in in this matchup. Oh, what? Oh. what? <laughs> what I there? love so uh, funny thing about uh, the puddle move that Donnie has is that if he hits someone with it while also absorbing the puddle, it instantly cancels, so he can do anything out of it. Tell me he's using the speed force. You see how fast that man moves? <laughs> yeah, J just workshop things. It's really interesting because I feel like both these characters, and I, I, I don't know how to word this without it sounding like mean to them. Also, wow, less time takes such Hello? an amazing lead here. But both these characters are very like polarizing to a lot of people because they're both very very strong in the right hands. Yeah, and we're just oh, seeing that special. we're seeing that character mastery come out. Yeah, AZ card is gonna need a lot of those for this for this set right now. Yep. The tech, oh, the an it. amazing tech. A rare yeah, percentage that... of two hundred. Yeah, I mean, if there's anyone who's gonna reach to Donnie, oh, and, and, and back here uh, is gonna even it back out. Okay, fair. Nice it's, back here. It's definitely very, very interesting matchup. Because this doesn't seem to be a great matchup for Gino, just because if you're noticing, uh, when they're both at range, Donnie is totally fine with not approaching. It's Gino who tends to be the one approaching here. Mm -hmm. And especially with the lead, uh, the percentage lead here, Donnie can just chill even way more and just let Gino like wrap the cord yeah. around your neck and they're done Just yeah like that's gonna take it up two stocks we're already seeing just how powerful donnie can be in the right hands he's like see the commanding lead once again oh yeah the speed yeah. force right yeah, there, there oh my god it cancels into it are gonna see, see that again uh not quite well we see the the blender the double year. <laughs> and finally getting the percentage here for AZ cards. Getting the reversal into the back air. Great spacing. I mean, that was still like 200%. That is very rough. And baits out the... It seems like that location in general so far has been really scary for people. Like, yeah, we've seen like, a couple people fall to that. The moment you land on that like, platform, Ayo. God bless you. Send you to the moon. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now we're going into Burning Hideout. Oh my god. Whoa, Gino almost, almost dead almost already. Almost died. <laughs> but now it's looking a lot more even. Mm -hmm. We got the Nairs. Bears? Okay. This is, this is definitely a really good stage pick because Gino has a lot more room to work with, a lot easier to approach. Seems like they're more in control of this game now. Oh, reflects the projectile, but doesn't get anything off of it. There's the speed force again. Okay, the Nair. Seems like these characters are both slippery. They're just like missing the combos for each other. Okay. That yeah, also both of them. Both of them want to be at like the mid range. Neither of them really wants to get like they don't want to let their opponent in their effective range, but also they want to be in their effective range. So it's a lot of quick pokes. 
It is. Both having trouble accepting that. And oh, that'll Perfect that'll timing. definitely help a lot. Oh, why did you burn that there? Getting the stock lead. I guess they don't really need that. That is yeah. true. No double jump. I'm letting the back off stage. Oh. Fair? Oh. It do. Oh, and unfortunately dives okay. off stage. We're seeing this this lead get reversed. Could this be a three stock? Potentially. Maybe. It's it's very rare to see Gino like live on 150. Yeah, that's gonna take it. it. That forward strong. Just says no. Again, there was Running a set I watched that was so funny because it was every every stock. It was that the opponent took Donnie out, and then the first thing Donnie did when uh, when they respawned was just walk up forward strong, it and works. it worked. <laughs> if the opponent does not see it coming, it is a very dangerous attack. You know how scary Donnie players are. Too much. <laughs> yeah. A lot of movement from AZ here, just not wanting to get hit by anything. Yeah, certainly. It's very back and forth. Oh, Look these players just know. Oh, he's in the world. Oh, that's going to take it up two stocks this time. Both of them seem to, like, now we've seen that both of them are very good against each other. Let's watch hey. some of this again. Uh... Again, we see the spacing from Gino with the oh. rockets. And yeah, right there. That to be... It barely Surprise. hit. Yeah, with the with the perfect timed ones, you get them down, and they are very nice. Oh, and yeah, we see the unfortunate SD. But then we see see some mix-ups with those projectiles into the forward oh, strong, eating the downer. fist. Okay, but up air. Yep. as we saw, just the down air into the Geno world. world. Seeing that um, Donnie players really like to use the forward special because it has so much priority and just goes through so many projectiles that they thought they probably could have went through the Geno world, but surprisingly, Geno has the better projectiles. Yeah, certainly. Mm. But. Ooh. It means so, so far, much. very patient neutral from both of them. Mm -hmm. They just want to get the stock percentage and then just let the other person take the lead, as it seems. Both playing very passive at the start, but now, AZ having the lead. Just yeah, we're, back. Definitely, we're definitely seeing, even though both of them are playing Zone, we're definitely seeing a difference in personality here. That less time is totally fine just hanging back. Oh my but, god. Oh! That down strong though, like again, AZ just wants to keep that lead going higher and higher. Oh, oh, that beam! Which the laser? That was so close. Parries. Okay. Into down the down strong. strong. Very nice punish. I think if that Geno world actually hit, I think they would die. <laughs> Probably. Okay. AZ is so aggressive with the follow-ups. Oh, have to get back off stage. Missing their punish. This... Uh oh, the up special missing. Super input. patient here. The forward tilt, walling him out. Gino oh, still has a very, else. very significant advantage here. Two puddles, eats them both. Uh oh. Missing the fair there, thinking that they were gonna SDI in. But that one will hit. <laughs> Expecting the roll read, AZ is very confident in this game right now. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, just less time just trying to stay out of the range. AZ is, has the lead, and less time oh, is just speedless. really struggling to get some way to get in. Yeah, the speed force could help, but just not getting enough off of it. Sets up the puddle. puddle here. 
Okay. And gets another one set up. Oh, but does burn it already. Uh oh. Easy now. In trouble despite having the percentage lead here. But and the 250%, strength. that's just gonna. Yeah, you're not living. Nice bear here. Oh my god. The... And the forward strong. It's back to 1 1. Despite having the percentage lead for the longest time during this game, it's back to even. Wow. Uh oh. Up there, we see the, the blender coming out. AC looking like they're in trouble the here. Chain? Is this gonna be it? Oh, nope. Gino makes it back just barely. Nice delay. But into another one. Into it, it keeps going. <gasps> just when you think you're out One of Donnie's drop. Wild Ride, the fun never ends. Oh my god, nice punish. Punishes it, but the puddle is up. Oh, tries to parry. Missing the, the just frame that could have ended the game here. Oh. He's trying to, try to push through with those puddles, but... I mean, they're both even again. Last Less hit determines it. Taking Less time knows this, control. does not care, being super, super liberal with the, with the puddle <gasps> usage, because any hit will take it. Especially now. Oh, and there we go. Up strong. up strong. What oh patient neutral. Last time has no trouble keeping their cool here in this set, which is, seems to be very important. Just keeps locking down the opponent with all of these project. Like we saw, both these players are really, really good at just playing around each other's ranges. Mm hmm. Like, you can see with last time's timings, you know, they're not trying to go too far in and too far back. They just want to be there at the right time. Yeah. Like, even here, even here, it was just one whiff punish. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing a whole lot of fancy stuff just because there's not really an opportunity to. Again, here we see it again. Uh, tries to go for the fair, misses. Tries to punish him again and keeps pushing, try to punish. But and then... just frame just to make sure that they're dead at 200. Yeah. You know, you can't, you, you can never be too sure. Yeah, but even then, I think them being such a high percentage gave less time, like, no worry. They were just like, you know, Gino is having a hard time killing me. I can go for more crazier stuff, like, at lower percentage or at 100 yeah. and get and that stock. What an insane kill. Last time is showing to be very patient in this match and just taking the lead. Everybody yeah, it's this. it's now uh, less time in the lead up two one. This can is... be super scary for AZ cards. Yeah, and we're going to Tower of Heaven now. A uh, very interesting pick. Yeah, I'm thinking like giving them more options in terms of like platforms to land on for Donnie, like with the sport special. I don't know if that's going to be going to be an aid in their matchup here. Uh, I think I think in some degree it is. Because, oh, my. Oh, oh, there we go. Never mind, never mind. Because <laughs> the thing about about having those platforms is that uh, the way less time likes to play is just jump into the air and throw those puddles around. You have much less control if you can't guarantee that they're going to land on the stage. That's fair enough. Oh, Gino World? Already. See, up to 99. You oh, can see the knockback. Tries to use the forward special to get in, but not enough. Oh, goes for the command grab. A very, uh... We don't get to see that much, but it does give... Uh, Don, Don Yoko a bit... Yeah, a health back? Yeah, it gives, I think, 10% on hit. Mm -hmm. Which, healing in general is definitely good but it's one of donnie's more niche moves because it really only is good for like tech chases and stuff seems here that um easy card just now on a three stock uh two stock lead here yeah already are we gonna see a, a three stock nope never mind nope. <laughs> absolutely Being, uh, not super um confident in themselves okay up air just covering that entire platform. Mm. This one. I'm back here. Oh my god, less time. Seeing how strong the Forge Strong is, I have no doubt that less time is 
in no worry despite having two slots down. Oh, the puddle's gone. Hits again. Oh. Oh. Thank you. There we go. Let's go to the platform. AZ is so good at mixing up the recovery. Yeah, AZ just going oh. for the Geno world. Oh, Misses the timing. The pressure, the pressure is on. You can really tell. When Gino's players start whiffing stuff, the pressure is getting to them. And the down air. 1-1. One, one. This is a very good comeback now. Yeah, so far, slow. so far we have not had another, had a game go to last stock. It has been commanding either way. So to see it here is incredible. But less time being, like, not caring. Less time has decided, time to take some risks. Just throwing those puddles out, racking up all that percent. Is it worth it? Oh. We'll find out. Tries <gasps> to use the the neutral special to stall in the air. Gets two puddles set up, but AZ not standing on the ground for it to really matter. Using the projectiles. Oh, oh, oh the and the four are gonna it. take it. I mean, at two hundred, everything is gonna kill. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how AZ Cards is feeling about that. Knowing yeah. that they have to take so much percentage and stack it up until they can get a kill, finally. I mean, it's very much a, a like, well, as we've been seeing here, it's not so much that Gino can't take kills at modest percents. It's just that it's very hard to get in in this barrage for both players. Even though, like, the minute, like, percentages that they're stacking up i don't think it's helping az cards at all because they're losing their like confirms at that point once they get past 100 percent oh very true like once you once you get to a high enough percent it just is you have to land something mm -hmm. but now like at 200 they have to ha hit that fair just in neutral just to get that stock yeah and i mean it definitely can happen but it's not likely and it looks like game five, we're going to high dive hideaway again. Very popular stage this bracket. I didn't know there were so many good Hodon players in our bracket today. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the, the puddle into the blender. Okay. With the up Keeping air, those juggles coverage. going. You do not want to be above Donnie. That up air is brutal. I don't know if this is a. I think this is a great counterpick stage for Donnie as well, just because now their projectiles mean so much more compared to Gino, who only has the down special, who can really take care of the stage. Yeah, the the stage advantage here is going to be super helpful, especially on that top plat, because mm -hmm. that top plat is one of the few places you're safe. But also those those projectiles as we're seeing can cover on the other platform can cover both the ground and the platform above it. Both of them just rolling onto each other. <laughs> okay, and I, I love how how this has evolved. This went from two players playing both incredibly patiently to as this has progressed, both of them really desperate to win here. Yeah. You can really tell that the aggression has oh yeah punishes with the shotgun. They're not trying to give each other any space to breathe here. And especially with the stage, it's so much. It's so claustrophobic. Yeah, I mean, that that is. I always forget that, like, anytime I think of age and especially treetop, which is the other version of the stage, I just think you picked the stage because you're like, I'm not running anymore. Come fight me. And both these players know that to heart. Yeah. We're really seeing that come out. Like, even like Gino is still trying to rush in using those projectiles, but not hiding at all. And it's no, very, very close. Oh, oh my god! Upstroke off the top. Okay, now AZ cards needs to find the percentage here. Oh, that's gonna take it. Oh yep. yeah, seeing the DI there and the SDI. Yeah, you are. In... That move is. Very hard to, to DI properly. Yo, AZ cards is finding their mark here. Up here. Taking the early percentage lead. Dino oh. World. Barely kill. kill. 
almost. But now we gotta keep in ch keep in mind here that Gino Roll is not gonna be a good kill confirm anymore. At 124, they lost that. Yeah, you had one shot and it didn't quite work out. Oh, gets the, in the, while trying jack. to get the forward strong. The thing about Gino's about Gino's forward strong and down air is that the just framing specifically has to happen after it travels enough to well, and the forward strong. <laughs> we, we've been foreshadowing it the whole the whole game. That forward strong wins. Just that one time that they needed it the most, it just kills immediately. <laughs> All right, we're seeing here the up air. Yeah, we're yeah. seeing both these players doing really well, and that means less time taking it over AZ cards. If I I will double check real quick, but I'm pretty that sure a, a big yeah, AZ upset. cards was the first seed for this tournament set to win this. And we see less time coming out here playing Donnie. Who's the 19th seed of this bracket. I didn't even realize it was 19. Yeah, 19th seed. We're really seeing how things have shifted. Pat Forshaw finally hitting, landing its mark. And you know what? I'm going to do my best Gino uh, cosplay here. 